Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. Yes, we have a change of hair. I needed something different and I love it. I did it today and it's not as light as it's supposed to be, but I still have a lot of dark in my hair. So that all needs to grow out. So it's going to be a long process. That's okay. But I wanted to do my finale for Graveyard Project Pen. This was created by Emily from Emily and Max. And it runs from April 30th of 2023 to August 31st, which is Halloween of 2023. I am filming this about a week early because I just have so many things that are going on and I want to make sure I'm slowly closing out because you know it's Halloween month and the last week of Halloween is super busy for me so I just wanted to close this out right now so that's what we're gonna do the first item I have is the Ilia multi stick in the shade dreamer and this was in Sephora favorites one year and I'm really glad I had the opportunity to try this out my goal was to use this 13 times and I did up end up using it nine times um, I did want to use it more and I've actually got a really huge dip I'll show you guys how much I've used up on this. So, I mean, I've used quite a bit of it already. And this is gonna be in my collection for a while. So you will see this in future projects, but I have a lot of cream products that I want to bring into future projects. So, but you will see this one again. The next one is NARS Laguna Bronzer, and this is repressed. Now my goal was to get my 13 uses on both of these. It's repressed into my Too Faced Compact and it looks like this. Now I actually got quite a bit of use on this because it is repressed, so it's a little bit more malleable. This is such a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. I kinda wanna put some on right now, but I'm already wearing Fenty, but it's just really beautiful. So that one I got seven uses out of 13. So that one will, these will both go into my future two pan selection in my collection it's not going to go back in the this one will go back in the drawer but this one will not go back into my bronzer drawer it's going to go straight into my select to pan in future um also i just ate dinner so my black lipstick is coming off so i apologize i did not redo it but my lipstick is downstairs and i just wanted to make sure i got this video done before i left today the next item is for the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Oh, I forgot to grab that one and I have a huge pile of stuff in here. So you'll have to forgive me, but I have like a bunch of Halloween stuff in my drawer of empties right now, but I did complete, here it is. I did complete it. So I will show you that in a sec. Did I finish anything else? Just wanna make sure I don't have any other empties in here. All right, so this is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in the scent Gummy Bear. And this is empty. It's so wonderful. There's like a teeny tiny smidgen in there, but that's not enough to even do a full um, application. So this one will go into my empties. Next, we have the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Foundation in the shade 180 Linen. And my goal was to hit pan. And I actually hit pretty good substantial pan. Now this is something that I am wearing today. I really think it matches my my neck and everything really well. It makes me match. So I will put this in my two pan again and I'll probably kind of continue using it honestly until that happens. Next we have the MAC um, NC25 Water Weight Concealer which is right here. And my goal was just to have it in until the end of the project because I think I added it in last time last month and I only used it once and that was today so I do have it underneath my eyes today I love this and I do want to get a lighter shade but this is just absolutely wonderful but it will go back in my collection next is the MAC extra dimension skin finish in the shade show gold and I have to tell you guys this was so lovely to use I absolutely enjoyed this I will be pulling this out again real fast it was wonderful it's got a pinky gold shift to it I'm obsessed. I love it and I will be using this again really soon. I actually reached my 5U school on that one. <clears throat> the next one is for Revlon Skin Lights, which is another highlighter and this one is in the shade Daybreak Glimmer and I wanted to use this one five times and I met that goal as well. And this is what it looks like again another absolutely gorgeous highlighter like just stunning i have been really enjoying my products lately so this one will be in to use again in the future i'll put that in my two like put in another project pile 
And then lastly, we have the Nabla Skin Glazing Highlighter in the shade Ozone. I wanted to use this five times. I only used it once, maybe twice, but I only marked it down once. And I really want to get a couple of more of these highlighters because they seem really beautiful, but I have so many highlighters already. But this is the one here. It's very gorgeous. It's a little more taupey looking when it's like an undertone of taupe. When it gleams, it's like gold, but when it's undertone is taupey. So I think I'm okay with the one for now, but in the future, like I would like to try the bronzers, the blushes, that kind of stuff, but it will go back into my collection for now. So that is everything that was in that project. I really enjoy this and I hope it comes back next year because I will want to do it again. So thank you to Emily. I love all the projects you create and I have a lot of fun doing them. For everyone who's watching, I have the best viewers, subscribers, friends. I just have to say thank you guys so much for the beautiful comments you leave about me and my son and about my channel and supporting me and all the projects that I am doing and all the items that I'm using. And it just means a lot to have so much support, especially in a world where there is quite a bit of hate. So I just appreciate each and every single one of you. I hope you have a fabulous day. Like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!